Hello and welcome to another episode of Ardex's Ask the Expert. My name is Craig Morris. I am the Business Development Manager for Ardex Finished Surfaces and today we're going to be talking about Ardex K523. Uh, as I'm sure you all are aware, Ardex K523 actually comes with two mixing ratios. Uh, one is 3.75 quarts per bag uh, and the other is 3.25 quarts per bag. And there's, re there's a reason we have these two different ratios. And we're going to talk about that today and actually we're going to demo it as well. Uh, what we have in front of us here is an Ardex mock-up. Uh, this is a temporary mock-up that we, uh, we use extensively here to create our samples. Uh, we actually have a video out there on how to create a temporary mock-up, the reasons we want you to do a temporary mock-up, and we would encourage you to take a look at that video as well. Uh, but for today's purposes, we're going to be mixing K523 in this mock-up. So, why do we have the two ratios? Well, the lower water ratio, as you can imagine, is going to lead to a material that has a heavier slump. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more challenging to put into place uh, for that reason. The benefit of it, though, is that you have a material that is able to suspend the aggregate high in the mix. And why is that important? Because uh, the virtue of the 523 is the black and white aggregate that we have in there that we want to reveal. So if it's higher in the mix, it's much easier to get to that aggregate once we start to grind it. Uh, again, one of the challenges is since it is heavier, you're going to have to um, have a little bit more of a challenge placing. Whereas with the higher water ratio, the 3.75 quarts per bag, you will see uh, material that moves and behaves a lot like the traditional self-leveling underlayments that you're used to. Uh, it, it's much easier to place. Uh, the problem is, is that given the lower viscosity of the material, the aggregate will start to fall to suspension a little bit, particularly at deeper depths. Uh, what that means on the, on the back end is when you try to grind it, you're going to have to dig deeper, which means more man hours on the grinder and more tooling that you're going to use to get down to that aggregate. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to pour that material side by side. We're going to let it set up for a couple days. We're going to come back and cut it so you can see uh, the differences between the two water ratios in terms of the finished surface appearance. So here we are on our right, again we have our higher water ratio, again this is 3.7 uh, quarts of water per bag. We have a three bag mix in this barrel, and on our left here we have our Ardex K523 at the 3.25 quarts per bag, again another three bag mix. And we're going to dump them out until you can see the difference in viscosity that we get. Again with the higher water ratio, you can see you get a product that looks very similar to a traditional self leveling product. A very good flow. And with the higher product, higher water ratio, you're also going to get a little bit more coverage as well, about three to four square feet per bag. Now I'll measure that against the lower water ratio and you'll see immediately the difference in flow. Still you get good flow. This product will heal as well. But immediately out of the barrel, you can see the differences in the two products, the two different ratios. We have our gauge rake set at a three inch depth. Again, as with the traditional self leveling product, very good flow and heal. Coming over to the lower water ratio, again, you'll see much heavier slump, but you can see how when the skis or the gauge rate go through it, they backfill, you're still getting a good heel on the material. Now you can obviously see that you're going to get a little bit more of a challenge placing the material, but immediately it should become apparent, you can see how that aggregate is staying very high in the mix, staying very well suspended in the mix. This becomes critical when it comes time to process the material. When we get on here with our first cut, with our grinder, our planetary grinder, that aggregate is going to reveal very quickly with a little effort. So while we may have a little bit more of a challenge placing the material, when we come to cut the material, you'll see the benefit immediately. Smoothing the two different materials, you will need to do additional, a little bit more pressure on the surface of the 523. We're going to do our decorative smooth here. You'll see when we move into the 523 at the higher water ratio, the smoother moves through with an easier path. As with any type of topping or polishable overlay, 
or for that matter, a self-leveling underlayment, we don't want to overwork the material. The more we overwork the material, the more we push that aggregate even lower, which makes it even more difficult to find. But the takeaway from this video we hope you'll see is that while we may have a little bit more of a challenge placing the material, when it comes time to grinding it, we're going to save man hours and tooling. You can see after we've smoothed it, you can actually see the dimpled surface on the lower water ratio versus the smoother self-leveling type of surface you have with the higher water ratio. Okay, so we've got our material poured now. We've got our lower water ratio 523 here on my left. We've got our higher water ratio K523 on my right here. And immediately you can see some differences uh, with the surface. You can actually see almost like a dimpled surface on the lower water ratio, uh, indicating that we have aggregate that's very near the surface. On the higher water ratio, you can see you've got a much more sheen look to it, a much more glassy look to it. That means the aggregate sank a little bit lower, uh, which is going to be a little bit more um, digging to, to find that aggregate. So we're going to come back in a couple days. We're going to open this material up, and we're going to see what kind of reveal we get with the aggregate uh, doing the similar type of cut on both sides.